A reading from the Franciscan Book of Saints, November 6th, Blessed Margaret of Lorraine, Widow, Second Order. Margaret was born of the ancient noble family of the Dukes of Lorraine. Her earnest efforts to lead a virtuous life attracted attention very early in her life. After the death of her husband, Duke René of Alençon, she assumed the government of the duchy. In this, she was guided solely by Catholic principles, and by means of prudent economy, she managed to save a neat amount which she used to render aid to the poor and the needy. She took particular pleasure in nursing the sick and the lepers. She built churches, convents, and hospitals everywhere. The subject matter taught in the schools and the instructions of the people were objects of particular solicitude to her. Hard-hearted landlords and selfish officials were dealt with by her with the greatest severity. Still, she remained very humble and spent a great part of her day in meditating on the sufferings of Christ and in performing works of penance. In later years, after she had turned the government over to her son, she was invested with the habit of the Third Order, and when that no longer satisfied her desire for perfection, she entered the convent of the Poor Clares at Argenton which she herself had founded. There she died a saintly death in the year 1527. Pope Benedict XV approved her veneration. A Reflection on Aspiring to Perfection Every Christian is obliged to strive for perfection. It is not without reason that our Lord says, Be you therefore perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5:48. This obligation does not require the impossible of us. Everyone can love his neighbor, do good, and overcome himself. Blessed Margaret aspired to perfection as a child, a woman, a ruler, a widow, a religious, and she succeeded in achieving her goal. Imitate her in this endeavor. Sometimes striving for perfection may become a difficult task. This may be due to our associates or to external circumstances. Blessed Margaret did not permit herself to be restrained in her efforts to reach perfection, neither by human beings nor by the high station in which she found herself. But we must above all bear in mind that perfection does not consist in external practices, but rather in the disposition of our heart. The motive must be the love of God, all for the love of God. Let this sentiment grow in you, and you will grow in perfection. Obstacles are really a help in our efforts to attain to perfection. The Apostle writes, Patience has a perfect work. James 1.4 Let us therefore preserve patience in all the vicissitudes of life, meet all opposition with patience, evince patience in sickness and trials, and we can then be sure that we are on the road of perfection and will advance on it. Rejoice if you are put to the test. Prayer of the Church O God, the author of every virtue, who didst illumine with extraordinary merit thy blessed servant Margaret in every station in life, grant us through her intercession that we may live holily in the state to which thou hast called us, and may ever give a good example. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.